Hello there, art fans. I found this Manalama Knit Your Own Pumpkin Kit from Target. It was only 10 bucks, and today I'm going to review it. So let's open our. All right. So we got stuffing, yarn, directions. Not brush on. All right, so what else? A knitting loom. More stuffing. And more stuffing. Okay, let's look at the. Okay, let's see what yarn we got. All right, so tools. Green yarn. Dark orange, oh, the yellow, and another yellowish color. All right. Okay, so. Okay, first I'm going to ball the yarn up so it doesn't tangle. And it's already all tangled. your fingers. So bad thing about these kits is a lot of times the yarn is not rolled properly for working with. So I'm just going to make sure that the yarn is easy to work with. All right. That looks good. So these balls are good, and now the green balls got three green for the stems, and three balls. Okay, so looking at the directions, it looks like I make a little loop, and then you go around the little loopy thing again, and again, and again. Okay, so I'm gonna make a slip knot the way I did that. So the fingers, just grab the yarn from the back. And there we go. And that looks just like that. Yes, yes. All right. Over to the hoop. Okay, so the pictures look confusing because all of a sudden it's this and that. But you actually, okay, yeah, so this was saying you go around it twice because I've done this a while ago. And so you go loop it around like this at least twice the first time. And then you got to hook the one loop over the other one. Um, Okay, so I have it twice around, and I'm going to grab my hook out, put that to the side, and so I just grab the one loop, pull it over. I did this one wrong.
I think it worked. Undo, undo, undo. When I do it, I'm going to reball it. Okay, so these are on the outside and then the inside has a little cross thing. That's what you want to do. And so once you get that, this one and flip it over, take it and flip it and keep on going. In the one level, just push them down a little. Take your working yarn, and we're just gonna make another loop de loop around each one, making sure the X part is on the inside and the little circle loop is on the outside. Boom, boom, and then you're gonna flip them over them again and go back and so forth until you're at the end of the ball. Okay, so now that I've completed my knitting thing, ooh, la la la, I did notice that down here I might have made it a little too loose. Uh, I'm not gonna like undo it or anything. So we'll just see how the pumpkin turns out. All right, so the direction says to take your needle and put the string in it. Got it. Okay, and then I want to look at the direction. Okay, so they say take the needle, th thread it through. Okay, and then I'm going to pull the loop over. So, okay, so needle. We're just going to go through that. Okay, and then I guess I'll make the loops up to the next one. Boom. All right, yeah. Because we have pumpkin and it's got close together, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to use the whole thing since I got three of them. I'll just stuff that baby up. Stir, stir, stir. Real tight. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to make my stem. And so they only do three. So I think I'm going to make that knot again. Three, and they do A, B, and C in the direction. I'm going to work it around the front peg. Okay, and then 
All right, so I'm basically gonna do the same thing, but instead of going all the way around, I am just gonna go back. So around. Boom. And now loop it up. That one didn't turn out. Let's redo it. All right, so I'm gonna redo it. So I'm gonna just, this is counts as one, and this is two, and this is three. Okay. And then around. It's not fully around. So that's not working. Okay, I figured it out. It's only two little loop de loops, even though I'm using three. So we go one, two, pull the yarn over. through the middle one and then that all right so it says to leave uh two inches eh, that's about two inches right all right so now we're going to put the yarn on the needle. Pumpkin. It wants me to weave through these somehow.
Okay, so now I'm just going to weave the tail in through here. And just hide it in somehow. Um, it's too short. I guess I want to do the same thing with this top. Um, I kind of want to keep that. So. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the rest of this tail. Then I will weave it on there. Go. Sorry, I look cute. Should I do four? Yeah, I should do four. Okay, so here is uh, pumpkin number one. Like a little curly stem. It's super cute. Oh, it's got a lot of holes in it. And you can see the white through it. But other than that, Super cute. Okay, so now we've made this cute little pumpkin. Boom, 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 boom. The only thing is, is there's a lot of holes in it, and so the cotton um, shows through it. Um, so I made the yellow one starting out, and I thought if you put less of the stuffing, it still shows. I don't know if you can see that. It still shows, so I'm just going to put the whole stuffing in the yellow one, too. Stuff it up. And... Okay, so my final review of this Mona Loma Knit Your Own Pumpkins. It was not that expensive, not too hard to make. Uh, got these cute little adorable pumpkins. So the directions, it does tell you everything you need to do. It has pictures. Um, I think the pictures can be a little confusing. And then, of course, 
I don't always like to read directions. I just like to look at the picture. So I got a little confused on that. But I did read it. And it does say everything you need to do in the reading directions. Um, it's just how you are able to interpret them. But eventually I got the pumpkin made. So terrible. So I could try using a thicker yarn like this orange or this black maybe it would get more tighter together and have less holes in it it could be an option just let me know in the comments and i'll make a video with the thicker yarn okay so subscribe because next time i'm going to show you how to crochet some pumpkins here's a few examples of crochet pumpkins let's compare them to the knitted pumpkins all right so subscribe to see